Well, happy fall, y'all. October is one of my favorite months of the year here in Charleston, South Carolina. The weather can't be beat. It's a great time to get out and enjoy everything that living in Charleston has to offer. My name is Ellen O'Neill, and I'm the broker owner of Ellen O'Neill Properties with EXP Realty. <music> And it's time for our local market update, where we explore what's happening with home sales in Mount Pleasant, Daniel Island, and the Wando Canehoy area in between. Now you may be hearing that prices are leveling off or that the market's normalizing. In this month's local market update, we will look at the sales data in a little different way than usual. Today, I wanna to share with you what's, what the actual numbers are showing us of what's happening today compared to a year ago in our market. And as always, our local numbers tell us a story, whereas the news is presenting national trends and we don't always follow national trends. So let's start by comparing September sales this year to September sales data from 2023 for the town of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. As you can see, there were nearly double the number of new listings this year compared to last. Now, low inventory was a major issue last year and we see that inventory levels are picking up. There have been a comparable number of sales this year, and we've seen average sales prices consistently over a million dollars, more months than not. Now the months of inventory is rising and so is the average days on market, so houses are not selling as quickly as they did a year ago, but we could still say it's a seller's market to a degree. Now prices continue to appreciate, but at a more normal rate, which is why people say that the market's normalizing, and it is true for the town of Mount Pleasant. The key here is that prices continue to rise, but we no longer see the 15 to 20% year over year climb as we did a few years ago. Now, next we can explore Daniel Island's September sales to those of a year ago. The new listings remain modest, but closed sales dropped a good bit. Pricing on Daniel Island has remained consistently high all year in the mid 1.5 to low $2 million range. We see the average price go up and down because the number of sales in this small area is low compared to a larger area like Mount Pleasant. So what that means is if there's a month where a few grand homes sale, the average price could spike. And if there's several more modest price condos that sell one month, it could cause the average price for that month to decrease. So with fewer home sales, the average is more likely to fluctuate. And I'm saying this because I don't believe that prices on Daniel Island have dropped. Even though looking at these two isolated months, it may appear that way. Now it's clear that it's taking longer for homes to sell on Daniel Island than it did a year ago. So sellers just have to be more patient. The Wando Canehoy area is located right between Daniel Island and Mount Pleasant. Like Daniel Island, this is a far smaller area than Mount Pleasant. So there are fewer sales on a monthly basis. Now home prices continue to rise and the average sales price fluctuates each month based on the sampling of homes that have sold. We see that sellers are consistently getting close to their asking price, but days on market is climbing, as is months of inventory. So sellers in this region also have to be a little more patient when listing their homes. Now, overall, it's safe to say that we are seeing a trend of normalizing in our area. This is good news for both buyers and sellers. Sellers are seeing home values continuing to rise at normal increments, so the equity in their home is growing. Now, buyers are happy to see more inventory. Who doesn't appreciate more options? And with homes not selling at the rapid fire pace as they have in the past, buyers can actually stop and think about their decision and not have to rush to put in an offer to get ahead of multiple offers in most areas. However, a home in good condition that's priced aggressively will still entice multiple offers in today's market in any of these locations because they're all really desirable. So buyers, be aware that if you see a reasonably, reasonably priced house and you really love it, don't wait too long because chances are other people are gonna love it too. And remember, we're still in a seller's market. One thing these numbers are showing us is that variations in property values exist among the three locations. Now, if you've got questions about what's happening in your neighborhood, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to provide you the hyper-local data that relates to you. So if you wanna discuss your goals and options in this market, just give me a call.
I'm Ellen O'Neill, and I believe you deserve to love where you live.